What brought you to Indonesia in the first place? Uh, actually, I, I saw the Indonesia ah. from YouTube yeah. and I came here t- to see my eyes and I fell in love. So I decided to move to Bali and s- explore Indonesia. Wow! wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, Bali, in, in, in China. Indonesia. Oh, in China. Yeah, in China. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> thank, uh, yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. What motivated you to choose Indonesia as your destination? Because uh, all of my friends tell me that Indonesia is just beautiful, really beautiful. Um, people are really kind, and uh, some of my friends want to buy a house here. Dan selain itu, uh, kedua mereka ni suka dengan orang-orang Indonesia kerana mereka katanya di sini sangat baik hati, sangat peramah, begitu kan, sangat membantu. Cuma satu saja kekurangan yang ada di Indonesia. Hello guys, ketemu lagi kita di video ini bersama dengan saya guys. Jika lain sudah bukan semestinya Lisa klik klik reaksi dan ya salam sejahtera saya ucapkan kepada semua yang hadir di dalam video ini. Terima kasih banyak banyak kerana masih bersama dengan saya guys dan kita harapkan semua yang menonton di sini sehat selalu dan dimurahkan rezekinya begitu kan. Dan ya di video kali ini kita akan melihat Oh apa guys Anda sudah nampak saya punya judul Dan juga thumbnail Jadi jangan kemana-mana sebentar lagi Kita akan lihat bersama Reaction Lisa klik-klik reaksi Don't forget to subscribe guys Di video kali ini kita akan lihat ini di mana Indonesia True Foreigner Eye Trio Types ah, Maksud dia apa Jadi di video ini kita akan melihat di mana mereka ingin ah, mengetahui pendapat daripada ah, Traveler luar negara lah begitu kan Yang datang ke Indonesia Setelah itu apakah pandangan mereka tentang Indonesia lah Begitulah secara ringkas lakan guys Jadi ya tanpa berlama-lama mari kita lihat bagaimanakah video ini dan apakah isi kandungannya? C gitu. Jom. What kind of image or stereotype do people have about Indonesia? It's very famous for Chinese people. We associate Indonesia to sadly because I think it's not the whole country. That's very sad because Ladies and gentlemen, today we will find out how foreigners and the world perceive Indonesia. Stick around until the end and you may reach an interesting conclusion. Where are you from and how long have you been in Indonesia? First of all, I'm from Uzbekistan and I'm been in Indonesia six oh, months. Six months? Yeah. yeah. I'm from China. I'm here also six months. What brought you to Indonesia in the first place? Uh, actually, I, I saw the Indonesia ah. from YouTube yeah. and I came here t- to see my eyes and I fell in love. So I decided to move to Bali and s- explore Indonesia with my wife. Oh, you are married? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Married. In, ba- in, in, in China? Indonesia. Oh, yeah, China. in China. Okay. Congratulations. Thank, uh, yeah, you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. How long do you plan to stay? <laughs> Today, if there's a chance, I plan to stay oh, here forever. Forever. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a very good place. Yeah, actually, uh, I love Bali. And Indonesian people are very nice. And foods are here incredible. Weather, sea, and a lot of islands, nature, I'm, I'm in love with it. Best nature. Yeah. Yeah, it's very nature. good to explore because yeah. like every time you explore, it's a new experience. Everywhere is different. Yeah. Like now we're here, it's very different from any other place. Where have you been before? Uh, we've been in a lot of countries. Okay. Like in one year, we've been to Dubai, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Singapore a lot of places. Europe, 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 Turkey. That's a lot of countries. Yeah, yeah. we are traveling. But we love here. Yeah. We plan to stay yeah. here. We plan to stay in Bali. So maybe we want to buy lands here and build our house. You must have a special reason, right? To yeah. choose Indonesia as your yeah, yeah. place to live forever. Yeah, because is the reason is here are people very nice, very friendly. And they really like to share something with foreigners, show the culture, and so the way I like. So I, I feel Indonesia is good. And second of all, the weather is very good. For where I came from, Uzbekistan is very hot in summer, and winter is very cold. So I love here. Yeah. You're always hot. Yeah, yeah. I'm not very hot. hot. Weather is good. good for you. Yeah, you like yeah. yeah like- it's very like if I compare with Thailand or Malaysia, here is weather is very perfect. Yeah. Not so hot. Okay, now here's the main question. What kind of image or stereotype do people around you in your city back then have about Indonesia? Actually, Indonesia is very 
How can I say? It's very famous oh. for Chinese people. They won't come here in travel, especially Lumo, e g y Mountain, and Bali, p e n i d a and they go like diving with dolphins, like this kind of activities in TikTok and some like Weibo, this kind of social yeah. media in China. In Bali is very famous in Uzbekistan, social media. Yeah, yeah. very mm-hmm. super Great. famous. And Nusa p a n i d a and a lot of Uzbek people, like old people, know about the Indonesia, like Muslim country. Mm-hmm. We also Muslim country. So they heard like they go Saudi Arabia, or like they have a friend from Jakarta, or in other part of Indonesia. Before yeah. when we were not here, uh, we look like social media and. It just feel like attracting, but I'm not sure I will love it. But when I arrive here, it yeah. yeah, really, you will really just you will fall in love with. It. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Jadi ini daripada uh, pelancong luar negara. Dia sudah travel di mana mana tempat. Jadi bagi saya mereka telah membuat keputusan untuk membeli tanah di Bali juga, guys. Seperti yang dia kata kata tadi. Uh, untuk tinggal terus di Indonesia, uh, begitu sayang sekali dan cinta mereka terhadap Indonesia ya guys, wow luar biasa juga ni. Uh, ini orang luar punya tanggapan tentang Indonesia lah kan guys. Jadi kita dengar lagi apa tanggapan orang lain tentang Indonesia. Hmm. Where are you from and how long have you been in Indonesia? We are from France uh, in Paris and we have been. Um, In Indonesia for uh, seven days or one week. How long do you plan to stay? In Indonesia, we yeah. plan oh, to stay three, three weeks, three weeks. Uh, but we are moving uh, city by city, and uh, we plan to stay uh, seven days to ten days uh, in Java, and then mm. we will go to Bali. Yeah. For the rest of holiday. For the yeah, rest of holiday. Exactly. What motivated you to choose Indonesia as your destination? Because uh, all of my friends tell me that Indonesia is. She's beautiful, really beautiful. Um, mm. People are really kind, and uh, some of my friends want to buy uh, an house here because, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, because they really like <laughs> they travel here. So I, I think that I want to to make mm. my own experience too. <laughs> That's why I come here. Uh, for me, I think that Asia will be my dream, and I'm a nature lover. So I was looking for a lot of nature and different things that I've never seen in France. Like for example, my dream and my obsession was to see a volcano. 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 Yes. Uh, so I was just here for that. What kind of image or stereotype do people around you in France have about Indonesia? We associate Indonesia. To not religion but yoga, you think of spiritual things, and we also associate in Indonesia to Bali. I think that a lot of people uh, don't know about Java or other um, islands in Indonesia. They only mm. think about Bali, and Bali is uh, mainly beach. So I think uh, people should um, look more about and um, uh, have more information about uh, other islands. I know some of my friends told me that um, maybe it's a uh, because it's a Muslim country. Maybe I have to be uh, yeah careful, something like this. But uh, <laughs> I don't care about this because and um, when I I come here, I see people is uh, are Muslim, but they are, they are very kind, and there is there isn't um, how much is it? Uh, It's not like what you think. Yes, yes. Because in France, sometimes we have uh, comment d i a t t a c k When uh, people uh, do an attack, bomb attack or what? terrorism, oh. terrorism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why they are afraid. But uh, it's, not, it, like uh, it's not not like that. But I'm not. I'm not sure that people. I don't know for you, but for me, I people doesn't uh, associate uh, Indonesia with terrorism. Okay. But I think experiences are different. very di- different. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very. Sebelum kita teruskan ke pelancong yang seterusnya, uh, di sini mereka beranggapan bahawa uh, ramai lagi yang belum mengenali uh, Indonesia, ramai yang belum tahu Indonesia. Jadi di sini 
Dorang juga seharusnya uh, bukan saja ketahui Bali, tapi di tempat yang lain juga di Jawa, seperti di Brumo, seperti di Mount Ijin, begitu kan. Namun bagi pendapat saya sudah ramai lah orang tahu tentang Indonesia ya, karena Indonesia itu kayak dengan alam semula jadi yang sangat cantik sekali. Ya. Apalagi kita ketahui Indonesia itu banyak pulau tahu, ah pulau apa? Ah, itu mau tengok peta. <laughs> Jadi kita lihat lagi apakah komen daripada pelancong-pelancong luar negara. Thank you. Thank you very much. Where are you from and how long have you been here in Indonesia? We are from Switzerland. Yeah, and we have been in Indonesia for two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. And how long do you plan to stay? One month. One month. Yeah. Both of you. Yes, we travel together. Okay. If you don't mind me asking, what kind of holiday is this? What kind of holiday? holiday yeah. uh, just travel holiday. <laughs> Life holiday. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> like, we are between uh, bachelor and master, so we we work a bit and then just graduated. Oh, yeah. Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so, what motivated you to choose Indonesia as your destination this time? <laughs> I think it's because there is a lot of publicity yeah. in the social yeah, media. Is that Instagram? Yeah. yeah. A lot of TikTok, Instagram, and stuff. Yeah. Very famous destination, I think. Actually, yeah. like, yeah. yeah. And we had time, so it was good to do that now. And it's not the rainy season, so it's yeah. better to go now. <laughs> Which destination did you see on social media? Bali. It was Bali, I okay, think. Bali. <laughs> Bali a lot. Lombok as well. Lombok yeah. and Bali, I think it's the two yeah. most... That's famous. where everywhere, yeah. everyone goes, so... And it's for that that we wanted to go to Sumatra to be yeah, less touristic and do another thing that the classical thing. Yeah. We were in Malaysia, so it was closer. Yeah. So I like it was. It was easier for the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And we have to finish in Bali, so that was easier. <laughs> okay. Now here's the main question. <laughs> wow. What kind of image or stereotype do people around you in Switzerland mm. have about Indonesia? Oh, it's a difficult question. I don't know if you have like stereotype. Like what do the... people associate Indonesia with? What they Bali. usually think about? <laughs> I think Bali. Bali is very associated to Indonesia. Oh, yeah. Sadly, because I think it's not the whole country cannot be different on only for uh, Bali. But uh, otherwise, I think the rice fields very famous too, and the waterfalls and yeah, it's not stereotype, but it's like yeah. nature, yeah. Yeah, I think beautiful landscape more than city and all, like yeah, more landscape, nature and all than I guess. <laughs> and maybe the um, for the diving too. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Jadi uh, secara keseluruhannya yang lebih famous di Indonesia tuh Bali ya. Jadi orang Barat tuh mengenali tempat yang menarik itu semuanya Bali. Hmm. So guys kita teruskan lagi. Where are you from and how long have you been in Indonesia? Oh, um, we are Germany. from Germany hmm? and we've been here for nearly a month oh. now. And how long do you plan to stay? Uh, two months. Two months. Yeah. Because of the visa. Okay. Yeah. If, if there is no visa limit. Would you like to stay longer? Probably, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure, because Indonesia is really big and I didn't imagine that it would be that big. So, yeah. What motivated you to choose Indonesia as your destination? Partly recommendations wow. of friends and also that it has so much variety. And I've been to Malaysia and Thailand before and just wanted to see something different. And like especially the volcanoes here were something that made me come here i think the same like uh, people's recommendation and um, my father went here in the 80s and he loved it so it was like some kind of uh, yeah point there wanted like okay he told so many stuff about the country so i need to visit it now here's the main question what kind of myths or stereotype do people around you in german have about indonesia i don't know if there's a stereotype but maybe that the people are very friendly and very smiley. I think that's the stereotype we have. Yeah, I think so too. Like really open-minded people. Everyone helps uh, if you have a problem. So uh, yeah, and I can give it back. That's really like how it works here. Really so open-minded and uh, helpful. Especially in Pangandaran. I had okay. very good experiences with the people there and also in Karimunjaba. Like very nice contacts with people living there and like had a really good time with the people and 
get, get like getting to know them. Yeah, that was really nice. For me, Kadimon Java was my highlight till now. So the people were really, yeah, really good, really uh, funny and stuff. <laughs> I forgot to ask, but what is it like? there in German, in your city. It's also a nice place. I come from the lake, Lake of Constance, but it's different. I would say the people are not mm. as open as here. It's more cold, like in general. In summer, it's like about the same maybe, but otherwise it's more cold. But also a nice place to be, but very different. I live in Cologne. I love the city. It's my choice uh, town, but it's really different than here. Like the people are more like in their groups and not so... Some are really helpful, but not like as here, like so much. And yeah, they love their rules. And that's some some point that I don't like about Germany, that they have like a lot of rules. So um, yeah, I like it here. Both of you sound like you like Indonesian people so much. Yeah, 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 yeah. for real. <laughs> I also yeah. like, really like Indonesian people. I think they're like, Kind of the same as Malaysians. The only the only bad thing about Indonesian people is that a lot of them don't speak English that well. That's very sad because I would like to talk to more people here, but it's sometimes very hard because they don't speak that much. Yeah, but here, even though people don't speak English, they like doing sign language and describe it to you in some way so you can, yeah, talk with each other. They really try and it's really nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Jadi itu saja kekurangan yang ada di Indonesia, kurang uh, bercakap dalam bahasa English, uh, lebih kepada Indonesian language, ya, bahasa ibunda mereka di sana. Jadi uh, pelancong-pelancong luar negara tuh agak sukar untuk berkomunikasi juga, itu kekurangannya saja lah ya kan guys, ya. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. Where are you from and how long have you been here? So uh, we're from to Avignon in France. Wow. Yes. And we've been here for six days. Six days. Yeah. How long do you plan to stay? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks. Oh. What motivated you to choose Indonesia as your destination? My sister went to Indonesia like five or six years ago before the pandemic. Okay. And she said to us, it's an amazing place. You have to do this. <laughs> so there was the pandemic and, and all the troubles around it. So after we just to, to uh, come here and um, there is so much to see yeah. between the nature, the culture, culture which is yeah. quite different from yeah. ours in Europe and we'd like to to discover so everything and everything, we're not yeah. disappointed at all. It's okay. it's amazing. Uh, yeah. So far so good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Very good, exactly. Yes. That's Very a good, good sentence, experience. yeah. The main question now, what kind of image or stereotype do people around you in France have about Indonesia? It's maybe dirty. Dirty uh, and a lot of people yeah, in the city. In, and, uh, yeah. At the same place, at yes. the same moment. Yeah. yeah, I think that's, that's the image. And what do you think after you, you are here? Apa? Dia kata image di sana tentang Indonesia. Katanya di kota, mereka kata kotor. Ha, itu pendangan mereka di situ ya. Ha, ini different lagi. Jadi pandangan dia negatif sedikit lah di sini ya untuk uh, pelancong ini ya. Namun setelah sampai di sini apa kepandangan mereka? You are here. Uh, uh, it, it depends on the um, place you yeah, are. Place. When we landed in Jakarta, there were a lot of people yes. and uh, <laughs> it was like amazing all the people, all, all the traffic, and we were on kind of road, lost. Yeah. But after a few days, you can tell that. Some places are so quiet. Yesterday we went to Bromo, there was like nobody. Yeah, we Bromo were alone. A few Hindu people preparing mm. the ritual for today. Yes. But we were like the two yeah, tourists. The only as person, <laughs> yes, uh, in the place, yes. It was, uh, yeah, it's so different when you drive a little kilometers and you, you are in the big city like Jakarta. And after you arrive in Bromo and it's, wow, the, the difference, yeah. And I think the kindness mm. of people, yes. yeah. Everybody is so happy nice and, yes. and happy yeah. and so calm also patient. because in, yeah, <laughs> patient, patient, yeah. And, tolerant. and uh, yeah. that's a big change. Is it different from in yeah. France? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. Uh, in France, very nervous in yeah. France. Uh, yes, yes. Thank you very much for your time. Oh. Thank you. Merci. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Based on their answers, I can say that the world hasn't heard much about Indonesia. Their ideas of Indonesia are limited to a holiday destination, with Bali overshadowing the others. Yet, Indonesia in general is much more than that. And this is exactly why this channel was created, to uncover 
capture and help the world understand Indonesia better. Not okay, channel. Okay, aku lihat cara pewatakan dia di sini ya. Dia punya apa nama ni? <laughs> nama saya suka lah begitu kan di sini dia uh, interview ataupun buat wawancara dengan uh, semua pelancong yang datang ke Indonesia dan bertanyakan berapa lama mereka tinggal di Indonesia. Rata-rata mereka semua tinggal ni lebih dari satu bulan, begitu kan? Ada yang enam bulan, begitu kan? Jadi untuk bercuti itu tidak uh, bagaimana? Percutian pendek tidak cukup rasanya perlu lama di Indonesia. Dan selain itu uh, kedua mereka ni suka dengan orang-orang Indonesia kerana mereka katanya di sini. Sangat baik hati, sangat peramah, begitu kan, sangat membantu. Cuma satu saja kekurangan yang ada di Indonesia. Mereka ini tidak uh, bisa berbahasa Inggris. Itu satu kekurangan komunikasi di antara uh, pelancong barat dengan orang Indonesia lah. Tapi uh, itu ada cara lain untuk mereka berkomunikasi dengan menggunakan bahasa isyarat guys ya. Jadi itu harus dipertingkatkan lagi ya untuk uh, boleh berkomunikasi dengan orang lain juga. Terutamanya orang barat begitu kan. Dan selain itu juga uh, orang barat ini sangat mengenali apa guys? Bali. Uh, Bali adalah salah satu tempat pelancongan yang sangat-sangat dipromosikan di media lah begitu kan selain tempat-tempat yang lain terutamanya di promo di uh, Mount Aegean begitu kan tapi sekarang ini uh, media sudah banyak membantu untuk para pelancong datang ke Indonesia lah kerana banyak tempat-tempat yang menarik yang ada di Indonesia kalau kita benar-benar ingin explore Indonesia jadi secara keseluruhannya di sini kita mendengar pendapat-pendapat daripada pelancong luar negara tentang Indonesia Betapa positifnya pandangan mereka Namun ada satu saja tempat tadi Di France Mereka mengenali Indonesia itu tempat yang sangat kotor Katanya ya Tapi setelah datang di Indonesia Uh, mereka mendapat pandangan di sebaliknya Tidak seperti begitu uh, Jadi itu sajalah pandangan yang negatifnya Di dalam video ini Namun uh, kita ambil dari sudut positifnya lah kan Begitu kan Rata-rata uh, orang barat ini suka Indonesia uh, Begitu kerana tempat ini Sangat sesuai sekali uh, Bercuti uh, Begitu kerana banyak tempat-tempat yang Betul-betul uh, memberikan Kita tuh rehat lah begitu kan Tempat melancur lebih kepada uh, Natural beauty begitu kan dan bagi saya, ya, satu destinasi yang kata strategik untuk kita menenangkan fikiran dan ingin keluar daripada kota dan pergi ke tempat-tempat ya semula jadi yang sangat uh, wow menenangkan fikiran begitu kan ini sangat sesuai sekali lah pergi bercuti di Indonesia dan kepada you all yang menonton di sini pasti kalian juga punya pendapat tersendiri tentang pelancong-pelancong daripada barat ini yang datang ke Indonesia dan pergi bercuti di sini bukan ambil satu dua hari mereka pergi datang ke Indonesia berbulan-bulan tau untuk travel Indonesia itu pun pastinya tidak cukup juga waktu untuk pergi ke sana ya uh, untuk travel semua lah karena Indonesia tuh sangat luas sekali jadi kalau kalian ingin menyatakan pendapat kalian nyatakan saja di ruang komen ini dan kepada you all yang menonton sampai saat ini kalian juga luar biasa karena menyokong di channel ini ataupun video ini uh, kalau kalian ingin melihat lagi uh, pendapat-pendapat daripada pelancong luar negara datang ke Indonesia kalian boleh lihat di ruang deskripsi saya dia punya link tekan saja masuk ke channel ini dan jangan lupa support dengan subscribe like dan juga komen guys ah begitu kan dan kepada you all juga yang menonton di video ini jangan lupa juga support di channel ini dengan subscribe like dan juga komen jika ingin komen ya dan ya video saya juga berakhir di sini terima kasih karena menonton bersama dengan saya kita ketemu lagi kalian di video yang akan datang bye bye guys